Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Ilan Paul, and uh, today's episode is a little bit different, as you saw by the title. Uh, I'm in desperate need, desperate if you will, um, in desperate need of a new sky base. My old sky base has been, um, I don't know, there's something wrong with it. I don't know how else to describe it, but nothing is working on the sky base anymore ever since the last, ever since the 4.2 update. It's been having problems. So... Now that we're at like 4.22 and things are progressing along and everything seems to be settling in, uh, I've got enough multi-tools and granted I'm going to be still looking for new ships and stuff like that, it's time to make a new sky base. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you along for the experience and I want you to know that the sky base that you create, it's something. It's a technique that I learned watching Beeble Bum. Um, he has some very great videos. He is one of the most incredible glitch builders I've ever seen. I know there are better ones out there according to him as well, but he's one of the most personable ones I ever, I've ever watched and I really appreciate what he does. Um, so the technique that he uses is something that it works for me and it has worked every time. It's a little bit tough to do. I will let you know that it's, there's a, a timing involved and everything else like that, that makes it a little bit more difficult. But I'm going to do something a little different here that I haven't done before. I'm going to choose a different planet. I usually go on to paradise planets and stuff like that. I'm going to go in a completely different direction here. And I'm going to choose an airless planet if I can find one. It's been a while since I've looked for an airless planet. So we're going to see what we can do here. Um, well, let's go ahead and exit my ship. I need to figure out where I need to go here. No, we're not exiting the ship. My bad. We're going to head to the Eisentum galaxy, because that's where I usually like to do a lot of work at. That's like the 10th galaxy, if I remember correctly. Um, Whitney? Yeah, the Whitney outpost is where I think I need to go. It's a very mellow, mellow home base. There's really not a lot there. I don't even have any... Uh, I think I have a portal there. That's pretty much about it. A couple of acc accoutrements, um, a landing pad, things like that. So we're going to go ahead and land there or go there, I should say, and I'm going to pull in my freighter, because that way I don't use any hyperspace fuel whatsoever. Here we go. And yeah, sometimes it, you don't always appear in your base. You sometimes appear below it, on it, around it. This is one of my favorite paradise planets. Isn't that beautiful? It's absolutely beautiful. Blue water, gorgeous sky. Everything glows. Waving rolls of glowing on the... Uh, just absolutely wonderful. It's one of the main reasons why I love playing No Man's Sky. That just this alone. But anyway, uh, what ship did I bring along? Oh, you won't do. No, 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 no. Uh, we need a different ship. Hold on. I am going to pull in my latest... Yeah, my hunter. Let's pull him in. This ship sounds so mean when they're coming in. All right, let's pull in the freighter. We'll summon the freighter coming in. Uh, I'll put you right up there. There we go. And all the little ships will start popping in. All the little frigates. Blink, 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 blink. Okay, great. All right, now um, let's take a look at the system. Wrong button. Uh, this system has five planets. And you probably, uh, I've never got a chance to rename the system. That's my fault. Uh, I think I discovered it on my other main save. So it's been discovered two years ago on my other main save, as this case may be. But it, it is what it is. So we have this planet here, Tectonic. So obviously it's a hot planet. High Sentinel activity. It's where I do a lot of my fighting and a lot of my videos uh, highlighting the multi-tools that I have. This is the planet I'm on right now. It's a paradise planet, right? There's this planet, which is also a paradise planet. No water on this planet. And then also, there is this swamp planet over here. And then finally, guess what? Another paradise planet. Three paradise planets in this system. One with rings. This one has water on it. This one's mostly red and does not have any water. So, really cool system. But the problem is, it doesn't have the planet I'm looking for. So, I need to find an airless planet. So, we're going to go ahead and do a little quick search with our ship here. We're going to get out into hyperspace. And... Take a look around. All right. Galaxy map. Well, let's take a quick peek. Now, there's many different systems here. I think what will probably be better is if I can find a system nearby 
Yeah, let's do that a little bit differently. You see a lot of these things, any any of the systems, if you look closely at this, uh, for the, those of you who don't play very often, uh, one of the things you're going to notice, you're going to see a lot of these systems have circles around them. You see some of these, like this one over here has a circle around it, right there. And that one up there has a circle around it. These are systems you visited. As you can see, I've been kind of looking around for quite a while in this area uh, at all the different systems. I kind of like to be able to... Um, yeah, I, I, I get around a little bit. I know that doesn't sound right, but I do. So there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually head over towards our uh, freighter. There it is. And we're going to bring this in here. We're going to take the, we're going to check out the portal and I'll show you a little trick. If you, especially if you've been around, if you've gotten around to a lot of different systems. We're going to go ahead and take it in. And we're going to use the, not the map room. We're going to use the portal itself. Now I could have done that at my Whitney base, but mostly everything I'm going to do is going to be from this freighter anyway. So we're going to look for a system that has exactly what we're looking for. We need an airless planet, hexagonal planet, something along those lines. It doesn't have to be airless. I mean, just something that doesn't have any flora or fauna on it. No sky, no atmosphere type of thing. Uh, so we could use that to get where we need to go, but we're going to go here instead. So I know there's a system out there I've been to that has what we're looking for. Now, the ones that have Euclid, I'm going to ignore those. So as you can see, so I'm going to look for... Actually, the best place to go is here. Yeah, so the best place to go is here. Now, the system we may find may not be in the Eisentum galaxy. We just see something here. This one was found by a different person. There's a multi-tool galaxy. This is an interesting system. This is the hub. Um, the hub system is a system that is part of the original game back in 2016. So it's kind of a protected systems that we have here. So I'm going to go back through all the systems I visited. And let me see here. This was discovered a week ago by somebody? How interesting. Okay. And let me see here. Here's a system I discovered. Let's take a quick peek. Frost. Terraforming Catastrophe. Yeah, always great. Nuclear. And yes, I said it right. Nuclear. Not nuclear. Nuclear. Let's play, try to say that right, folks. Damp planet. Vapor planet. So that's just humid planets. Okay, so nothing really going on there. Let's take a look at this system. And this is what we're looking for. We're just going to keep looking for... See, a desolate... Yeah. Fissured is interesting. Something that doesn't have any... Well, that's interesting. A paradise planet. And there's only one other planet in the whole system. Ooh, those are a little close together, aren't they? I wonder if there's a reason for that. Nuclear. Heh <laughs> Did it again. Sub-Zero. Rainy. Metallic. Iridescent. Metallic planet might work. That just might work. These systems may be in the Euclid galaxy, though. Let me just see something here. Uninhabited systems. That could be interesting. Okay. So we're just kind of looking around here at this point. We want something. Maybe what about this system? I've already got a base here. Verdant. Irradi irradiated. Pardon me. You're right. Metallic. Yet again, that metallic planet. There's my 300th anniversary base. Ah, I remember this. Yeah, an abandoned planet. But it's got cactus flesh, so it's got plants and animals on it. Abandoned planet as well. Low atmosphere. This may be the system we're looking for. Yeah, I think this is where we're going to go. Lis Lisbad Gamma, that's where we're headed. Okay. So Lisbad Gamma, and we have a base here. So this is where we think we want to go. All right. Let's see if we can find that. Lisbad Gamma, 300th anniversary base. So the base should be labeled in here. It's going to be towards the end. Strange World, 300th anniversary. Okay, let's head here. Abandoned. It's in the Euclid. All right, well, that's okay. That's all right. I'm not really too, too worried about that. That's not as important as... The planets that we're looking for. So we're going to go there now.
Now, if I'm not mistaken, the base just simply has a base computer here. I just dropped a base computer there real quick. And I thought about creating a base there, but it's only because the the background of this planet is really cool. You've seen me use it in a couple of thumbnails. Yeah. I remember this place. Why? Because of that. That place right there. This is the reason why. It's because it's it, it's a, basically I'm on a moon, and what we'll do is we're going to do a like a screenshot type type situation, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's get the let's get the uh, sun where it needs to be. Yeah, it's because of the storm coming in. It's because that is really cool. It's got this huge yellow planet in the distance. It is absolutely stunningly pretty. Over there, over there, have it behind the world. Yeah, it's kind of a neat place to go. This planet by itself is not the best planet to do it on because of this. You know, you got the the uh, storms that have come up on this planet, so it's not what we're looking for. So let's get out of this planet's gravitational pull. Let's get back to first person view. And let's look for the planet that we're looking for. So this one is low atmosphere. That is perfect, and it'll actually have a great view as well. So let's head there. Like my bobblehead on the dashboard there. Gotta love them. And those things actually do something for your ships. So if you get these little bobbleheads, these collectibles, if you will, and add them to your ship, they will actually increase in certain respects. Some increase weapons, some increase hyperspace, things like that. So good to have them. If you got the room to put them into your uh, technolo technology inventory, do so. Usually a good idea. Just a heads up too, I've got a couple of uh, under the weather folks here today. So let's just take a peek. So this is what our view is going to be, right? So there's the planet in the distance where the other base is located. So it's an unobstructed view. So let's go ahead and get down to the planet and take a look. Whoa, okay. Almost uh, grazed my rear end on that planet. There shouldn't be anything on this planet, so let's just go ahead and hit a spot and park it. We'll have rocks. That's about it. That's not what I was trying to do, I promise you. Come on, you can do it. Pay attention. Okay. That was really strange. Didn't expect it to jump off the planet that quickly. So you see there's literally nothing going on around here. And that's cool. Come on. You gotta love it. So we're gonna try to choose this planet this time in order to do what we're looking for. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to look for power. That is the best thing to do. So we're gonna go into our menu here, and I need to do a power survey. And that's our next thing, because I'm going to look for a hot spot nearby that's got, you know, I don't look really need anything special. B class or better at this point. It doesn't have to be really big. So we'll go from there. All right. So let me pause here for just a moment while I take a quick look around, and we'll see you guys in just a few moments. Okay, and we found ourselves a hot spot, so I wanted to show you this. So there's the hot spot in the distance. It is a B, B rating, so that's fine. This is the best part about these airless planets. Look at my charge on my jetpack. You literally can jetpack around the planet. You can you never have to hit the ground. Should be right about here. Okay, good deal. So I guess this is where we're going to be building our sky base. So I'm going to put Analysis complete. Okay, so we got a B class, nothing special. Give us about it'll give us about seventy-five to eighty, no big deal. Um, so we want to build a sky base straight up in the air from here. Uh, so how are we going to do that? Let's see here. We want to do. Okay, so you have a couple different things you need to do to get prepared for this. Now, I am going to go ahead and place down a base computer, but before I do though, something you need to learn when you're placing things down. 
Now I can place a lot of different things down here, as you can see, uh, but most of these are just going to be in this one category of deployable units, one of them obviously being a base computer. Let's also, while I'm thinking of it, I almost forgot, I need to pull in my freighter. There we go. Just pull them into one side. Okay. One thing when you go to place things down is if you go to select something and put it down, I want you to look at the top of the screen where it says cycle part, build, colors, rotate, etc. You have something that says toggle free placement. You want that on. So it's not for placing the base computer. It's going to be placing something else. What we're going to try to do is we're going to place a um, landing pad up in the air and that's going to be the start of our sky base to do that we need the obviously we need the parts to build it so what does it take to build a landing pad to build a landing pad even though we can't have access to it it does require um, at least five metal plates which i happen to have sitting right here so i'm just going to take a bunch of these and drop in my exosuit um so i need five metal plates and i believe microchips that was it uh not multi-tool and let me see if I have any of those in here. No, I don't have any made right now. Okay, so I'll have to make some. No big deal. Sometimes I have them, sometimes I don't. Just depends upon the day. Stop that. I want to say it only requires three, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so I've got what I need. I should have all the parts I need to build this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build, put my, my computer down. And we're not doing the toggle-free placement just yet. I could do that. Okay. Replacement enabled. Snap placement enabled. Okay. We're not at ground level. Okay. We are definitely not at ground level, but that's okay. Because we're putting our base computer here anyway. So here's what's going to happen. You know it does the pullback right as soon as it does the pullback you go into your build menu and select your landing pad and then there's a counting game that we have to be involved in if we get it right we'll be able to drop our landing pad at just the right spot up in the upper atmosphere 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 and be able to build from there now because it's also an airless planet there's no clouds we don't have to worry about anything getting in our way so if we build it a little low it's not going to be a big deal okay so here we go Get ready and go. And we go up to it. We select it. It's going to tell us that nobody's around. Claim the site. And here's where we go into the build menu. Choose landing pad. Toggle free placement. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. And I place a couple of them just to play it safe. Now, did it work? Let's take a look. Uh, let's see if I can even see up that high. I think I placed it. I can't even tell if I did or not. Let's check our inventory. Yep. So as you can see, all 17 is gone. And it takes two microprocessors to build one. So I've got two landing pads up there. So we got to take our ship and take a ride up there and take a look at it. Um, yeah, the ship's already up there. Hold on. Guess we got to pull in our ship, right? Did he... Hey, buddy. And off we go. So all we do... Now, as you know, these hover fabulously. If we point straight up... Look at that. Looks like there's a square platform in there, doesn't it? There's one there. And one right... Here. So let's go with the upper one. And then we do have one down straight below us, right? So, did it work? That's the key, right? So we have a restore point saved. The best way to find out is you exit, go into your options, and you want to reload your restore point. Let's see what happens. Now, we have an autosave one minute before that. So if it didn't work, what's going to happen is we're going to be free falling. No big deal. Just get ready with your jetpack just in case, so... It just takes a couple extra moments. Any moment now. Oop, there we go. Nope, we're dropping like a rock. Okay, start flailing. There you go. There should be another platform coming up. Maybe. 
<laughs> no, I'm still falling. Yeah, if you all want to take a break, go to the restroom. Could be a while. I am falling through what appears to be cloud. I didn't know there was any clouds on this. Alright, doesn't look like either... Whoa, okay. Guess what we found? We found the other landing pad. <laughs> well, that was fun. So again, we don't have to put it straight up there in orbit if we don't want to. So let's, uh... Call on our ship. Alright. Now the beauty of this is that because it's an airless planet, we can build it anywhere we want. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so let's do this. So you have an idea of what this place is going to look like. Okay. This is what it's going to look like from, from below. From below. Okay. Let me pull back a little bit and you get an idea. So now we have a landing pad all the way up here. Okay, even though there's a base computer on the ground, our landing pad is all the way up here. Now I can guarantee we're 300 units away. How do we know that that's the case? Let's see if we can put another... See, it, it still has all of our technologies available to us. So what we can do is we could try to move our base computer up here. Probably not going to work. So if I try to put another one down here, it's going to tell me I can't build within an existing base. So I'm actually too close to the base computer down below, but that's okay. In all reality, that'll be pretty good. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and build my base here. Um, pretty sure I want to do that. So we got our starship here, and it's just a matter of building onto this from this point forward. So next thing I'm going to do, I kind of like to be able to start with a, uh, a little bit of flooring. And I'm going to go with a different flooring. I always love this particular type of flooring, the timber structures. But lately, I've been trying to get into the stone uh, areas. I think those are pretty cool. We're going to stick with a regular stone panel here. As you can see, we have our toggle-free placement is still on. So we have to be kind of careful. So we're going to go into B, which gives us the ability to move around and see if we can get this into a, a particular position where it's intersecting our landing pad a little bit. Um, but it's kind of kept a little bit level. Now keep in mind, I am no glitch builder. I am not like some of these other guys that can do that. Um, like Beeblebum, I don't claim to be that good. <laughs> So I'm going to pull back here and show you. So basically now we have our platform right here. We'll have to put some railings up just to prevent people from, you know, walking off the edge and falling to their death. You can't die in this, uh, in this way. But this gives us a starting point. So I can build a nice structure from here, um, and we can basically take it from there. I can even build some of these structures if I want to. I can start with a square room instead, and I can get it built right about here. But the problem is, is it doesn't like the fact that we're up in the air. So we have to do it in a free placement type situation. And you want it to try to intersect a little bit of the... There, the ground there. So that way you can get in and out of this unit with the regular doorway. I think I've got it lined up properly. I am trying to check the lines, the shadows a little bit. So I like to have one of these for a means of getting in and out. It isn't quite lined up the way I want it. So if we go to C and then select it back to B, let's see if we can drop down just a little bit and get it lined up square. I think that'll do better. I want to be up just a little bit. There we go. That looks good. It won't be perfect, I know. All right, yeah, that looks a little bit better. We need a door for it. Uh, let's see, doors are down this way. There it is. I like the hollow doors better. Uh, we need to do the lock. There we go, so now we have a hollow door. And this will be the interior of a base. Good, we can walk in and out of it with no problem. The floor barely intersects it, so I don't have a problem with that. That's okay. Uh, and obviously we need power, right? So let's take another look, shall we? I think we ended up pretty good, didn't, did, don't you? 
And here's our hotspot. Unbelievable. So we are literally right in the center of our landing pad is our hotspot. That's pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to try to do, I'm going to try to place a power source like this electromagnetic generator, for instance. We have metal plates on board our ship. I have plenty of magnetized ferrite. I got stacks of it and plenty of chromatic metal. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to place it. And I wonder if I can, I don't know if I can flip this upside down. I know there's a way to do that. But let me see if I can get it underneath the platform. Yeah, it's not going to like me to do that. I didn't mean to do that. So I'm going to try to place it back up here. It's not going to have a ton of power. But just having it on top of my base over here is going to provide the base with power to begin with. Let's see. Let's see what happens. And everything should be powered up. Nope, it's not giving any power to anything just yet. All right. I do want to make a battery, so let's get some batteries up here. <laughs> and it looks like it wants us to generate or get an electrical wire from this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And guess what? The whole base should have power now. Good deal. And that should be storing power as we speak. So we now have juice in our base. So there we go. And that's the start to our sky base. Now what I'm going to do in future episodes too, I'm going to do a little bit more here. But what we're going to do in future episodes is we'll come back to it once in a while. And I'll do like about a 20 or 30 minute jaunt around the sky base and expand upon it. Um, you can do so much more with these bases. Um, in regards to so many different things you can do. Like it needs some special lighting. We can do some signage. Uh, we just got all those new signs uh, from our anomaly missions. Uh, so this ought to be pretty, pretty cool. Uh, looks like we're coming up on daytime, just about. But this will be a really neat sky base to create. I'll put some nice... Uh, stuff over here and over here we'll expand out and get multiple platforms out here so we are in the euclid galaxy um the way i usually do things as far as my network settings are concerned it's always disabled invite only uh the reason i leave it disabled is because i really don't have the uh my video card doesn't have the bandwidth to handle a whole lot of people with me. so it is what it is one day i will upgrade one day i'll have that up uh, that high-end rtx card and everything like that so not worried about it just yet um no PvP. Sorry, you can't kill me. Um, people can add stuff. I have no problem with that. But I don't want you to be able to delete anything. Uh, I don't mind you seeing where I'm at. I don't mind you seeing where I'm at on the planet. Um, the only people who can, edit, who can edit the base terrain and access my refiners are groups and friends. So people who are grouped with me and friends. And that's it. So that's just the way I'm going to be doing things. If you're looking for my friend code, it is right there. So now you know who I am. You feel free to friend me in No Man's Sky. Not a problem. And you can add friend codes whenever you want. Whenever you have a blank spot, you can add someone in anytime you like. So there we are. And as you can see, I've got other friends in there. Um, I got friend I'm friends with certain individuals who I work with on my secular job, as well as you know I've got Jason plays in, plays in here and stuff like that. So. No idea who Wonder Butter is. Um, I'll figure out that later. Anywho, moving along. So that's the way I have it set up. So you can feel free to drop a marker down and add something. You can add a communication relay and say, hey, I was here. Great to see you. That kind of thing. Not a problem. And where are we? Well, you saw, that you saw me go into picture mode. As you can see at the bottom left, there is the code for this system I'm, on, I'm at. And it's in the Euclid galaxy. So if you're in the starter galaxy and you get all your portal glyphs, you can find a way to this planet. Looks like it is ship, sunset. I always call that hands in the air or YMCA. The next one is the face, two dinosaurs, trivial pursuit is what we usually call that, two triforces. We all know that from Zelda. Another trivial pursuit and two birds after that. So there you go. And that's where this base will be. So I'll expand on this in future episodes, and we'll see how we do, and see what more things we can create. Ah, it looks like sun sunrise is coming. Yes. Yeah, another coughing fit from one of my kids. And slowly as the suns rise, we slowly see daytime returning to this uh, crazy-looking place. 
So it won't be the best looking planet in the world. It won't be the paradise planet like I had in my old sky base. But we're going to see how it does. One of the big things I'm hoping to see is whether the doors remain. So while I'm here, I'm going to add one more thing to this base. And I'm going to add a base teleport module. But I have to get a carbon, couple carbon nanotubes real quick. They're so easy to create, I don't bother. And I will put my portal right here, right in the middle of the front door. And it shouldn't pull too much juice. Yeah, we're still climbing. Okay, so excellent. So to give you a rough idea of what I mean by sky bases having issues, let's take a quick jaunt. I know we're at the 30 minute mark, but we'll take a quick jaunt to my base, which is a wacky, wacky name. Uh, yep, the Ablek Ablekki Bung Base. I always wondered about that. So we're going to go there right now. I'm going to show you what I mean by what happened to my old sky base. This one had four platforms on it. It was completely decorated. It had all of my cargo containers. I had a refinery pad that I had multiple refineries on. I had decorations throughout the base, all the things I've gathered amongst the years I've been playing. Multiple levels, small farm, things like that. Yeah. So it puts me, first of all, under the base at first and then drops me on top of it. So now the decorations I had on my pads, they're gone. All the flags I had, gone. This is still here. The dinosaur head that I had here is all gone. I have to put a regular doorway in because the doorway I had over here is gone. I can't get, get into it. And all my glass windows are gone. All the lighting I had in here is gone. You can see my refiners are over here. I mean, this is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. The view is fabulous. It's that Lemley base that I had my... Uh, Whitney Outpost. The Whitney Outpost is straight down below me at the uh, near the water's edge. Um, it is a beautiful planet to have a base on, to have a sky base. But I'm trying something different. And as you can see, I can't really... I can get inside still because, again, I could put a mechanical doorway. And certain lights will stay. Other lighting will not stay. So I still have my teleport module here. But all the decorations that I had in here, everything, only this one table remains. Couches, the screens, everything I had in here is gone. Everything I had here is gone. All the decorations I had in here, gone. And in here was a small little farm, all the plants, gone. So, I am not sure what exactly happened. But... It glitched out. Oh, we got a couple shelves. The shelves remained. That's right. Everything on the shelves was gone. It's just really, really strange. And rather than get completely upset and bummed out about it, you can see it's got power, but all my solar power panels. There's one battery there, and you can see it dropping like a rock. And every time I get here, it seems to be fully powered again. You know, no wiring harnesses there, all my solar cells are gone, everything has disappeared. And I don't have any idea what happened. So, but anyway, that's what happened to this base, and I need to restructure someplace else. So that's all there is to it. So we're going to head back to that base one last time, to our new base. We'll rename it at some point as well. Um, it'll be all the way at the bottom of the list. It is currently the Ixum base, I believe it's called. So let's go take it out. Euclid Galaxy. Let's check it because that should be the base in question. Now you could keep doing what I did with the landing platform and try to get your base up higher in the atmosphere. Uh, at some point you'll get it high enough that it's still within range of the other base you can put a base computer down and it won't recognize the other base being there. So you see, I ended up in the right place here. I'm right next to my um, power unit. Cool. So this is working. Let's see, if the, is the hollow door there? It is. The hollow door has kept disappearing. So we're in good shape. This base should remain present where we need it. I'm going to drop down and rename the base. And I've done, I don't know if you've seen some of my videos on this, but I've actually jumped out of my freighter from space and landed on a planet even in permadeath road, uh, mode. You will not kill yourself. 
he'll just flail for a while. There you go. Uh, base computer. So here's our base computer. Um, I don't think I can go all the way up there. So let's rename our colony, if we will. Uh, let's call this Elon Paul. Oops, yep. Elon Paul Skybase Mark 2. There we go. Yeah, I kind of played it simple, but I'm not going to give it any fancy names beyond that. And I can't upload anything yet because we can't get there. Um, we cannot go by jetpack all the way up to the platform. I guarantee you it will not work. We're going to give it a shot anyway. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to make it up there. Alright. Yep, so that's not going to work. But that's okay. We'll just pull our ship in. That's not what I was trying to do. I have no idea why that happened. There we go. It is a weird, really neat graphic on that one. So there we go. And it looks like it's fully daytime here, so you'll know where to find my base. There's a base computer straight below. And a platform straight above. And it's really not that high to the platform. We're really not that high. But it is a sky base. And there we go. And one day I'll update this, uh, upload this to the server. Feel free to plant your own base someplace. And there we go. We're all set. Thank you for watching, everybody. Like I said, I'll come up with new videos in the future that we'll go ahead and explore and expand this base. And we'll go from there. So... Please hit that like and subscribe buttons if you really liked what you viewed here today. Feel free to leave comments as well, especially if you have some advice that you'd like to give. Sky bases, I've only done the one, and this is my second one, so I'm always willing to take some advice from other, from other folks who have done it before in the past. Again, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.